What's going on, guys? It's boy Humble Way checking in with you. Um, wanted to speak on a pressing issue that actually just happened today uh, out of the Tampa Bay Times. Byron Leftwich has been fired by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Four Seasons with Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, he was their OC since 2019. Under his tenure, they were at least they were a top three offense. Um, those four seasons well those the first three seasons except for this year and of course he got little to no recognition and his quarterback received all the praise um to me it's an unfortunate situation because i feel like they only did that for two reasons one because they had to blame somebody and of course, when, when the quarterback doesn't perform well or the offense struggles, they look at either the OC or the head coach. So that's one reason. Two, I honestly believe it is a partial racial underlying issue because had he been a Caucasian uh, individual, then I don't think he would got fired so swiftly at the four seasons because he's proven that he can actually lead the offense and great you know, heights and stuff. So, it's really sad and hurtful that he actually lost a job and they're reporting that more people are going to actually be losing their, you know, their staff positions and some defensive coaches too. But the first name, the, the first person you put out of the building is Byron Leftwich. Like, like Shannon said today, that same guy was literally working with Tom Brady hand in hand to implement the offense that he wanted to make sure that things would go smooth for him when he first got to Tampa Bay. He was the reason why they won the Super Bowl. He made all the play calls all during that season to make that miraculous Super Bowl run and the following year when they made that divisional round run. Um, he, he got them back in the game, even though Tom Brady actually got them into a 24-point hole. Byron Leffers made all, all the second-half calls to put that offense in position and in gear to get back into that game. And then this year, the wheels just fell off. Now, to, regardless of how people may say it, Tom Brady sucked this year. He sucked. Now, his statistical numbers would say, oh, he put up, you know, 4,500 yards, 25 touchdowns, blah, blah, blah. He still sucked. Most of those games, he was literally stat packing. He would stay in the game to the fourth quarter, sometimes to end the game, just so he can put up more yards so he could say, okay, but I put up 300 some yards and losing effort. So that Skip Bates can go to the next day and say, well, he, he did his part. No, he didn't because the entire game they were losing and they didn't even make a valid effort to make it a game until it was too late. Hence the playoff game, he put up 361 yards and an interception. All Skip said was, well, he, he put up a valid effort. He didn't. They was down eight. They were down 25 to nothing before he could blink. And he got the ball now with every possession they actually scored. They kicked it off to them. They did nothing. He had that one drive down the field where he threw that the end zone interception what he claims that he didn't get enough on it like bro you literally just lobbed it to curse you ain't, anybody else would have threw that in the back of the end zone as hard as they could you're not just finna lob the ball like a dead duck and he lobbed that ball it, it he got nothing underneath that ball he just lobbed it up and curse came down with it and he claimed that he was i think he's trying to hit god or somebody like that but he claims he's trying to throw it in the, out the back of the end zone the way that pass was i seriously thought he was because any other quarterback, even, even to it himself, would have threw it out of the back of the end zone, higher than where nobody wanted to be able to get it. That's how you throw it. You can throw it to the, you can throw it to the 15, 16 stand. They can't do nothing about it. Then you get another football. But you can't sell me with that one. Like I said, it's unfortunate that, that, that um, Byron has to pay that price. But it is football. I'm praying that he actually gets another chance. Now, one team I think could actually use him I would, I would probably say Jacksonville. Jacksonville, um, I think Houston would do pretty good with him as the OC. Um, I wish Miami would have, but we signed Frank Smith. And so far, that's panned out to be pretty wise. Um, who else? Um, maybe the Titans. Um, it's not. I don't think it's a lot of teams out there that are looking for OC. But those teams I just named would be reasonable spots for him to land at. 
Because Jacksonville definitely got talent, and so does, so does the Titans, amongst other teams. But I think he'll get another job somewhere. I just hate this happen to him. It's unfortunate that he was that he stuck so long to the Tom Brady train, and he had to pay the ultimate price when Tom Brady actually fell on his face. So let it be a lesson to you, you know, Byron. Sometimes it's best to cut your losses while you can. Y'all had a good little run for a year and some change, but then it came to a halt. And unfortunately, they had to blame it on you. But let me know what you guys think. You know, comment, like, subscribe, all that good jazz. And I'll begin with more videos, guys. Peace.